Dylan, I'm typing this letter to you since my handwriting is atrocious with these nails. <laughs> Though you will be reading my vows soon, it was important to me that I had a minute to also share a note with you about some of the things that make my heart so full as we enter this day and into our marriage. From the day that I met you, my soul recognized something in you that I didn't know how to describe until time had passed. I've come to know that recognition as home. Your soul mirrors mine and brings with it a sense of belonging and comfort that I can only describe as a feeling at home. A true soulmate. Something I had hoped and prayed for and didn't know I would truly find until we met. I was hooked from that first conversation and I knew I had to see you again. So we had dinner again that same night and we watched YouTube videos and just laugh. Being with you felt comfortable from the start. And I think that is one of the things I love the most about our love, how easy and natural it feels. I knew for sure you were the one I was going to marry when Nana got sick. You were around with no hesitation, 100% in, not only for me, but for my family. And again, just a few short weeks later when you dropped everything and came to be by my side when Callie died. That was such a dark time full of sadness and emotion and it didn't scare you away. It brought us closer. And in reality, it made me realize that you and I could truly get through any challenge as long as we did it together. I knew I could lean on you and you would never let me fall. There are times when I'm filled with self-doubt. I've carried that all my life. But without hesitation or even a second thought from day one, you've encouraged me and made me feel like I can accomplish anything. Dylan, I could write a book of all the things that I love about you, but I'll keep it simple. You are kind and loyal, and not only to me, but to every single person that you care about, and you show it. You are incredible at showing me how much our life and our family means to you. You are patient with me, even when I'm not patient with myself. You are gentle with me when I need it, and you're tough and encouraging when I need that too. You somehow know what I need before I do sometimes. But no matter what, you never let challenges get in the way of the love and the life we are building. You always prioritize finding a solution or a way through it together. And for that reason, I know our love and our marriage will only get stronger as the days and years pass before us. There is absolutely no doubt in my mind that you and I are it. Dylan, though I am sure life will bring new meaning to our vows as we move through the years together, I wanted to put down my vows and my intentions to you as we enter into our marriage today, October 16th, 2021. I vow to cherish you and our bond all the days of our lives. I vow to choose you every single day, no matter the challenges we face. I vow to love and support you in all of your dreams, ambitions, and goals. I vow to be a source of strength and courage for you in any and all challenging times. I vow to encourage and push you to be the best version of yourself as you do for me. I vow to create and raise a family with you that holds the same values and love of family that we have. I vow, to, I vow to respect and honor you and our marriage always. And above all else, I vow to be your partner in every sense of the word as we experience and share our lives together. Words could never express the love and belonging I feel when we are together. You are my soulmate and you are my home. I can't believe that our day is finally here. First off, I want you to know how much I love you. In a short almost five years, we have been through so much. We have been through the ups and downs, highs and lows, and everything in between. But the one thing that stays constant, no matter the circumstances, is my love for you. You truly are my best friend. You're the person that I run to with good news, and the first one I console in with bad. You're my biggest supporter, and motivate me to be the best version of myself. I had absolutely no idea what love was until I met you. I'm honestly sitting here crying because I get to marry the most beautiful person on this earth. You and your family have welcomed me with open arms since day one and for that I will be forever thankful. Your family is so loving and caring and I prayed a long time to find a girl with what you have given me. And I'm blessed to say that I get to marry her. We have started a home together in Columbus, and I'm excited to see all the memories that we will make. 
I'm excited for kids running around on Saturday mornings, excited for family gatherings, excited to always have dogs, and most importantly, excited to continue to continue to tell you I love you every morning when we wake up. In a few short hours, I will officially be able to call you my wife, and that has the best ring to it. We have so much support behind us, and I know that we can tackle anything together. I wish that I could be there with you right now to see how much love is surrounding you on your big day. I can't imagine the glow that you have around you right now. I can't wait to see you walk down that aisle with your dad. I love you with all of my heart, Sarah Rust, and as Nana always used to say, be good to one another. I love you always. Sarah Dillon, may God the Eternal Father keep you of one heart in love for one another, that the peace of Christ may dwell in you and abide always in your home. Amen. Amen. May you be blessed in your children, have solace in your friends, and enjoy true peace with everyone. Amen. Amen. May you be witnesses in the world to God's love, so that the afflicted and needy who have known your kindness may one day receive you thankfully into the eternal dwelling of God. Amen. Amen. And Sarah and Dylan, may Almighty God bless you, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Amen.